Hi there, I would like to walk you through our NURPS paper, a probabilistic unit for segmentation of ambiguous images. This will both be a poster and a spotlight at NURPS 2018 and will also be presented in the Medical Imaging Meets NURPS workshop as part of an invited talk. Images are often ambiguous, particularly medical images can be. On the left, you see CT scans showing potential lung abnormalities. To the right thereof, there are annotations produced by four independent expert graders. Evidently, they vary significantly, and this work seeks to model distributions of plausible segmentations given an image, which you can see on the right here. Semantic segmentation is usually approached in a deterministic fashion, that is, one assumes the existence of a one-to-one -one mapping between images and segmentations. One very successful deterministic model is the so-called unit. In order to model distributions over segmentations, we propose the probabilistic unit. At inference time, it employs a prior net conditioned on the image to predict a distribution over a low-dimensional latent space. Samples from this latent space are concatenated with activation maps from the segmentation net and processed further so as to produce consistent segmentations for each such sample. The net is trained via variational inference, which during training requires an additional network, the so-called posterior net. The posterior net is conditioned on both the image and the segmentation and learns to embed segmentation variants in the latent space using a cross-entropy loss. On top of that, a KL divergence, colloquially put, pulls the prior and the posterior net together. For quantitative evaluation, we measure the difference between the predicted distribution and the ground truth distribution using the energy distance, also known as the maximum mean discrepancy. Note that lower scores are better. We compare against the range of baselines and the mean performance of each of such baseline is denoted by a different marker here. The performances are evaluated as we sample more often. We sample between 1 to 16 times and comparing the distributions of segmentations on this real-world lung CT dataset, the probabilistic unit shown in green here performs the best across a number of different samples. The m hats model is a strong contender but is not as well calibrated as our model. Recall that usually people use a deterministic model for segmentation, which as evaluated in distribution space is quite far behind in performance as can be seen by the orange bar here. In order to measure how well the models are calibrated, we introduce artificial stochasticity to the cityscape's street scene segmentation task. We independently flip five classes with fixed probabilities to newly introduced alternative classes thus resulting in 32 modes of largely varying likelihoods. The rightmost column here shows samples from our model, which are consistent and thus individually plausible, as opposed to, for example, approaches that model a pixelized uncertainty via Monte Carlo dropout. The stochastic cityscape task allows us to evaluate the frequency of sample segmentation modes against their expected frequency in these log p, log p plots. You can see that most baselines either cannot pick up on all 32 modes and or exhibit significant miscalibration. By explicitly modeling image global distributions, our model is able to achieve good calibration, as seen on the very right in green. To summarize, our model learns conditional probability distributions over segmentations. Each sample is a valid and consistent segmentation whose likelihoods are well calibrated. This works on large-scale, real-world data and can also be trained on a unimodal ground truth. The model code, by the way, is available on GitHub. For details and more experiments, for example, on how our model can also be used to assess expert graders, be invited to check out our paper and visit us at our poster. See you there.